All right, so I figured we can go over to cold side on this thing. I've been asked before about uh, routing and stuff on the cold side, and uh, you know, it's just different from truck to truck. Uh, this one actually seems to have laid out pretty nice. Uh, there's there's plenty of room right through here between the radiator and the core support here, and just a nice path. And the other good thing is, you know, the headlights are nice and out of the way. So this is actually uh, was a nice path for the intercooler piping. Uh, typically on the cat eyes and stuff like that, you got the plastics up in here that hold the headlight in. And um, I just don't like cutting that plastic because it's already weak and flimsy as it is. So um, when I saw these gaps right here, it looked like a good opportunity. And then um, I used my, on my leftover cardboard and stuff that I get, uh, I use it as all these little pieces like this. I just use them as template paper and uh, made these, these brackets here. And then uh, used a ratchet strap and strapped it around here and went over the hood latch and strapped it here and then centered it up and then uh, made sure it was level and then uh, and then just welded these in at the top and then put some L brackets on the bottom so it's it's nice and solid. So I'm happy, real happy with that. Uh, hopefully the grill fits over and covers it all up and then the, the top piece over here. So um, <clears throat> yeah, turned out pretty good. I'll probably put the his blow off valve on this pipe somewhere. And then we've got our uh, mass airflow in here. And um, I've got to un unloom the wires and pull them back around across the firewall to get it to plug in over here. I uh, got our catch can and then two dash tins to the oil fill to the back of the cover. And then we got our fuel lines on. I uh, was able to reuse his little uh, DSX. Uh, it's got a 180 in the back and then 180s into, uh, so his feed comes in, goes through the sensor, goes around and then comes into the rails. And then I gotta build a crossover here and it'll go to the end of the rails uh, 90 up over here and then we'll have a regulator and then back to the tank so uh, <clears throat> but I had to run a summit this morning and get um, the fitting for the valve cover uh, the a 45 boot for this side and um, oh and the fitting the 8 inch dash 4 fitting for the oil feed and you know just just a little stuff that uh nickel and dimes you to death and you can't you know get any farther if you don't have it so uh you know now i should have enough to get uh the fuel system plumbed uh, i got a long enough hose to run back for my return it's a uh, dash six braided and um so i'll get the fuel system plumbed get our map sensor in uh, get the finish the intercooler piping I've got to extend uh, that one two to the inlet of the turbo and then the cold side will be done other than his blow off valve so we got a, a 90 coming out of here and then it's it'll be straight 45 and then 45 into there uh, this was his filter off of his cold air intake, and then that, that large elbow here was his off of his old cold air intake, so I was able to reuse that. Um, I'm gonna, he had like a nice box and cover and everything. I'm gonna try to see if it'll fit back in here. I kind of doubt it, but it would be nice to have a, a box, you know, so it draws air through the fender and through the front and the bottom and all versus you know just capturing under under hood air 
So, uh, but yeah, it's coming along pretty good. Uh, got the exhaust uh, pretty much done on that. And um, like I say, just was piddling and doing what I could. And then when I got to the intercooler and needed some stuff, it was, you know, basically had gotten to the point where it was enough stuff I needed where I can make a summit run and um, just kind of get what I need to get this thing finished on out. But uh, it's coming along pretty nice. Talk to Michael, uh, so he should uh, get us scheduled in once we get it together and um, get this thing street tuned and dialed in. Um, not sure how much boost we're going to try to run because this uh, is about should be about a ten and a half to one engine and we're on pump 93 i need to ask him uh the owner what he has available um west virginia i don't know if they have 91 or uh, 93 but a, a good safe rule of thumb kind of deal is uh basically turn your turbo truck on 87 and run 93 so that way if you have a variance in octane you know you'll have it covered by running running the higher grade and having it tuned on a lower grade so you know i know some people do that i don't but it's good practice i mean it sounds good right <clears throat> so yeah i was real happy with how this laid out um like i say it's pretty solid these these brackets you know they're they're pretty slick i might have to might have to start you know patting them or something um he's probably gonna want it painted i would assume but uh and this this was actually one that I had off of uh, that's off of a Duramax. Uh, I, when I had gotten the Duramax intercooler for my 2500 trucks, I got the intercooler piping and every, all that that I could, you know, just because I like to have extra couplings and stuff laying around. So that was off of there. Otherwise, it would be black. And then. I'm not real happy about all this shenanigans right here because that's way too many clamps and whatnot. I mean, it, I think it'll be fine, uh, but then that gives us, you know, the mass air in there, like say, because E38's like having the mass air even if it's, you know, not doing anything. It it it's a, it can be in speed density and it it likes to have the mass air flow. So I'd rather have it not need it than need it and not have it. And this this pipe and plumbed in. Uh, worst case scenario we can we, I, we could do a slot style or something like that but I figured you know this would be uh, this would work so and, and I mean it doesn't look bad it's just a lot of fittings and coupling there's just you know <laughs> the boot the pipe a boot the mass air a boot a pipe it's just a lot in a, in a short run but it'll work good uh, so now the oil feed's done, the oil drain's done, uh, the exhaust is fully mocked up, the crossover's mocked up, the cold side's pretty much complete, and then um, I gotta put the wastegate, blow off valve, and then we should be ready to uh, get this thing running. I'll write my base file, uh, input my injector data, and um, uh, do the... Um, whatever see what's available for the upgrade on the operating system if it's a if it's a two bar or three bar or whatever uh upgrades available on on this ecu and uh then do a ride and tire and um try to see see if it'll run so hopefully uh i know i know everybody wants to see driving and stuff and i'm i'm sorry about that i'm horrible with the driving part because typically i'm in the shop working i'm hard <laughs> i hardly ever get to drive these things so uh but hopefully if uh, me and michael don't get any any video while we're down there street tuning it or something maybe when the owner comes to get it maybe uh he can take me for a ride and we can do some videos of it because like i say i know everybody wants to see it and you know it's it's one thing to see see us do all this stuff and build everything and all and then see what kind of power it makes and then you know it's another thing to actually see it get driven and see it in in truck video um but that that one video michael and i did uh, that truck that had like a 400 and something inch engine in it and that thing was 
it, the video didn't do it justice on that truck um so i'll do what i can and um get this thing finished up hopefully get it running this week